New at 11, two local men are facing federal charges, all for flying a drone over and into the Bengal Stadium during a game. Uh, WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle is breaking down just what happened and what you really should know before consider buying one of these. With a flight plan secured, licensed commercial drone pilot and WCPO photojournalist Emily Gibney is ready for takeoff. Now that we're in the air, there's a few things you should know. There are two types of drone operators, commercial like Emily and recreational. Think hobbyist. If you're going to fly for a hobby or recreationally, you don't need a certificate. You can fly it without a certificate, but doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. Tim Marshall with Flamingo Air says all drones must be registered with the FAA. I do think that some people buy drones and don't register them. Officials say Dylan Dabney and Travis Linhoff not only failed to register their drones, but now face federal charges after illegally flying them over and inside the Bengal Stadium on January 15th during a playoff football game and Great American Ballpark during Reds opening day. Now, I think they're stupid to do that. You know, um, they obviously, I don't know whether they are doing it on purpose or whether they're ignorant or I don't know. Well, we wanted to fly this drone around the stadiums for this story, but we weren't able to. Why? Well, there's a temporary flight restriction due to a Reds home game, and that is also how it works for Bengals games too. Essentially, it's a no-fly zone. Most drones won't lift off if operators are in one of those zones. But that's not always the case, and FAA data shows drone ownership is rapidly growing. No, I think it's going to happen more often. I think so. But just know before you fly. Before you're going to fly a drone, know what you're doing. Know whether you can, what your, what your um, restrictions are. Drones can be dangerous if you don't use them properly. It can be used as weapons. And as we see in this case, it could end up with criminal turbulence. Linhoff could face up to three years in prison if found guilty, and Dabney could face up to four years in prison. In Covington, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News. So according to the FBI, flying drones over stadiums full of fans is illegal without proper FAA training licensing and approved flight plan.